The Sega Dreamcast was released in North America on September 9th, 1999, or 9999. It was to be Sega's last entry in the video game hardware wars and is fondly remembered by those who owned one, including myself. It sold nearly 10 million units before it was discontinued in March of 2001. For the time, it brought forth arcade quality graphics as it was derived from Sega's Naomi arcade hardware. A built-in modem, four controller ports, analog controls, a memory card with screen, rumble packs, microphones, keyboards, and light guns were just some of the innovations and peripherals that would appear. So with that out of the way, let's talk about my five favorite Dreamcast games, which also happen to be arcade ports. Our first game is Crazy Taxi, which is an open-world racing game by Sega from 1999. You play as one of three different taxi drivers who pick up passengers and try to get them to their destination as fast as possible. You'll jump, crash, spin out, and drive as recklessly as possible to deliver that passenger. The slower you are, the smaller the fare that you'll get, so you want to be fast. Songs by Bad Religion and The Offspring are memorable highlights of this version, which were removed from the later ones. In addition to the main game, challenges called Crazy Box are included. My favorite being the one where you have to crash into the bowling pins. Two sequels were made thanks to the popularity of the original Crazy Taxi 2 and Crazy Taxi 3 High Roller. A must-have game for the Dreamcast. Did you keep your eye on the road? Next is Gauntlet Legends, released in 1998 to arcades by Atari Games. Gauntlet Legends is a sequel to the original Gauntlet game from 1985. This one, however, includes beautiful, for the time, 3D graphics, a mesmerizing soundtrack, and a variety of levels and creatures to battle through. You can level up your four different characters, which is important when you reach the bosses, something that the original games never had. There is something really addictive about the hack and slash genre, and Gauntlet Legends lives up to that fantastically. Next on the list is Hydro Thunder, which is a racing game with boats. This Midway Games game was released in March 1999 to arcades and was a launch title for the Dreamcast. There are several incredibly detailed stages, each with jumps, boosts, and sometimes crazy events like massive drops, hurricanes, earthquakes, monsters, that kind of stuff. As you'd expect, the goal is to reach the finish line first. The more often you do, the greater your score, which will allow you to unlock more boats and more tracks. I really enjoy the physics of this game as you can slide around on the water easier than you could with a car. A sequel was made in 2010 for the Xbox 360 called Hydra Thunder Hurricane, which is equally fun and crazy. Then we have Soul Calibur, a sequel to the game Soul Edge, which is a fighting game by Namco released in the arcades in July of 1998 and then to the Dreamcast on launch day in September of 1999. In this game you choose one of 21 characters each who fight using some form of weapon such as swords, staffs, claws, nunchucks, giant axes, and more. As with most fighting games, the goal is to knock out your opponent either by draining their energy or literally knocking them out of the ring. The Dreamcast port is superior to the arcade with 3D backgrounds, new game modes, costumes, and characters. And according to Metacritic, Soul Calibur for the Dreamcast is one of the highest rated video games of all time, coming in at 98%. <laughs> Our last game is Virtua Tennis, released to the arcades in 1999 by Sega and to the Dreamcast in 2000. It's a remarkably realistic looking tennis game, for the time, where you climb the ladder to become the tournament champion in matches that thankfully only last a few minutes. 
There are several real world players to choose from and you'll play on different surfaces, each with different behaviors. Control is really great, but you know, for some reason I've never quite been able to get the ball to land exactly where I want it to go. The game also has some side challenges where you try to knock over giant balls, barrels, bowling pins, hit bullseyes, and other crazy challenges. There have been a couple of sequels to the original Virtua Tennis game, and they're all great. Even if you're not a tennis or sports fan, give this one a try. So there you have it, five of my favorite Sega Dreamcast games. An amazing system from Sega that's remembered for its great games and short lifespan. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like, share, and subscribe button so that you'll be notified of future videos. Thanks for watching and have a great day.